Hans, I consider him to be one of the greatest multi-instrumentalists on the planet. He understands the concept that less is more, you know, and his, his melodic phrases are so elegant and they, they're so perfect for what we're trying to do. Bliss is like the nectar of a relationship. And without a deep relationship, there won't be bliss. The exceptional chemistry of this band is producing the bliss. And uh, he and I have a wonderful interplay between uh, guitar and uh, whatever instrument he's playing. So it's like there's a beautiful dialogue that, that goes on in between the uh, phrases. Of course, it also helps to, to play music that has an intention to uplift others. To not just be a band that's trying to get a lot of attention, but a band that wants to make a positive impact in this world, and I, I, I think that's what the Kruger National Band is all about. He seems to select not only just the right instrument for the, for the particular song, some songs he plays two or three instruments. Three of the instruments uh, use a bow. A bow on strings really evokes the energy of the heart center which is why so many of the ladies who come to the concert seem to fall in love with him. Hans? Hans, just tell them quickly about your instruments. I've got plenty of instruments left. <laughs> He's a master cellist. He plays uh, sarangi like he was, grew up in India. You played with your cuticles, it's a pretty interesting Indian instrument. He plays sitara, which is a kind of a, a miniature version of a sitar, but he makes it sound like a full sitar. And he plays the nickel harpa, which is this magnificent instrument that comes from Sweden. And it adds so much texture and flavor. The bliss comes from hard work and from remembering that we're loving each other, you know, we're loving playing together. <laughs>